Okay, the law of cosines is used to solve triangles where we know two sides in their included angle, or if we know all three sides. Okay, so suppose we have this triangle. The law of cosine says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of alpha. Similarly, it says that b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2ac cosine of beta. And finally, we can write a similar, similar formula to find c squared. So c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times the cosine of gamma. Okay, let's do an example. So we'll start by using the law of cosines to find b. b squared is equal to 12 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 12 times 16 times the cosine of the angle opposite b. So to find b squared, what we need to do is put this side into our calculator. If we do that, we find that b squared is approximately equal to 97.404. Then to find b, all we do is we take the square root. Okay, but we're going to use the stored value rather than this approximated value. So we take the square root of this answer and we get about 9.87. So what's left are to find the angles alpha and gamma. We have two choices now. We can use either the law of cosines or the law of sines. The law of sines is a bit uh, less cumbersome to use, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll start by finding the smaller of the two angles because then things are less confusing that way. So we know that the smaller angle is across from the smaller side. So between 12 and 16, 12 is the smaller side, so alpha is the smaller angle. So let's use the law of sines to find alpha. Well, we know that sine of alpha over 12 is equal to sine of 38 divided by 9.87. So that means that to find sine of alpha, we multiply both sides by 12. If we plug this right-hand side into our calculator, we get about 0.749. So that means that to find alpha, we have to solve the equation sine of alpha is equal to 0.749. Okay, so let's draw the unit circle. Okay, 0.749 is the y-coordinate, because remember that sine is the y-coordinate. So we're looking at two spots there and there. Well, I know that alpha is my smallest angle, so I know that this is never going to be the answer I'm looking for because that there is going to be something greater than 90 degrees. There I have 38 degrees. Okay, so this is the value of alpha I'm looking for, and that's given by the arc sine of, alpha, uh, the arc sine of 0.749. If we plug that into our calculator, we get about 48.46. Okay, so the value of alpha is 48.46. And then gamma, we get just by subtracting 48.46 and 38 from 180 degrees. And that is going to be about 93.54. Okay, so that solves the triangle. Okay, note here when I said that alpha is the smallest angle, I was referring to alpha and gamma. Okay, between alpha and gamma, alpha is the smallest angle. So that's why I can always disregard that one. Okay, here we have the side-side-side case. Let's solve this triangle. 
In the side angle side case, we solved for the smallest of the two remaining angles because we know it has to be acute. In the side 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 case, the first angle that we solve for is the biggest one because then we know the other two will have to be acute angles. So let's solve for beta here. So we have 18 squared is equal to 8 squared plus 13 squared minus 2 times 8 times 13 times the cosine of beta. So we'll plug both of these sides into our calculator. If we do that, we get this equation here. We want to isolate cosine beta. So let's subtract 233 from both sides. We get 91 is equal to negative 208 cosine of beta. Then to isolate cosine of beta, we divide both sides by negative 208. So we get negative 0.4375 equals cosine of beta. Then beta is just going to be equal to the inverse cosine of this. And that's about 115.94. Now we can solve for alpha and gamma using the law of sines. So let's start with gamma. Sine of gamma divided by 8 is equal to sine of 115.94 degrees divided by 18. So then we isolate sine of gamma, gamma plug this into our calculator, and we get that sine of gamma is about 0 0.40. So then gamma is just the inverse sine of this. Remember, we know that gamma is acute because there's no way it can be larger than 90 degrees for both of these. So otherwise, the sum of the angles would be more than 180. So we can just use, we can just solve this in the simple way by saying the inverse sine of 0.4. And we get about 23.56. To find alpha, we just subtract these two from 180 degrees, and that's about 40.5. So that solves the triangle. Okay, so let me recap the two strategies we used. In the side angle side case, we first found the third side using the law of cosines. Then, of the two remaining angles, we found the smallest one using the law of sines. Then we found the third one, the third angle, just by subtracting the two known angles from 180 degrees. In the side, side, side case, we first found the biggest angle using the law of cosines. And remember, the biggest angle is opposite the largest side. Then we found one of the two remaining angles using the law of sines, and we know they have to be acute so that the sum of the angles will not be more than 180. And then we found the third angle just by subtracting the two known angles from 180 degrees.